Ladies and gentlemen, we're first picking Nicol Bolas. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe we are. Probably not. It's going to come back. What's going on? We're doing another Decaru Cube draft. Uh, draft uh, cube. Uh, definitely been enjoying this cube. Um, I'm snapping off Counterspell here. You're, really? Yeah. I kind of like it. What's that Chandra do, though? I this is actually one. one of the good ones. Uh, whenever any number of loyalty counters are removed from it, it, she deals that much damage to an opponent or planeswalker. Okay. So whenever they attack it, they're just taking that much damage, which is great for like red decks. Mm -hmm. Plus exile the top card, you may play this card. So it's like it's pretty good. the plus one's basically kind of a draw damage, card, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then negative seven is you exile the top seven, you may play them this turn. It's actually one of the better Chandra's. This is one of the rare ones from War of the Spark. I think it's just counterspell still. Yeah, I think it's counterspell. I mean, have you ever, ever cast a counterspell? And then we go into Supreme Will. But there's a ninja. There's a friggin' ninja. And if this, this, or this I mean, ninja comes back... ninja is good enough for literal vintage cubes. So I agree sure with you. good enough for this. Well, the thing is, the reason it's good enough for vintage cube is because... There's less blockers? No, it's because you get to hit their bonkers shit. Yeah. Like Inqua Leviathans and fucking Thran Dynamos and stuff. But I do think this cube is strong enough that it's... I still want it. I still want it. I want it all. And I want it now. Look, someone in the chat. Where can I get a credit card with bad credit? How do I do it? Someone help me. Someone do the research for me. My research has come up empty so far. Oh, so actually, there's a there's. A, I just got a comment on a YouTube video. On my uh, Decaru Cube draft number one. Decaru is one of the main members of the online cube community, especially at Reddit's uh, slash MTG Cube. He built this to be a counterpart to the other custom cube coming soon to MTG. Just FYI, quality content as always. Sweet. Here's a Thran Dynamo. Oh, Watery Grave, though. I think it's Watery Grave. I also wouldn't mind going solo. If you sold. need a credit card with bad credit, I can give you mine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's wall when he falls asleep. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Coles is really easy to get a card. Yeah, but you can't you can only use it on their stuff though, right? Yes. Uh no. No, I don't think so. Same thing with like Can you? I don't know, because like with a Best Buy card, you, you can, can only use it at Best, Best Buy, Buy right? right yeah, okay. Get a secure card to build credit, then get a normal card. Mike, you can get a secured card where you put cash down and then it's your limit. It's almost impossible to get down. Yeah, but then it's just like then it's not really that's not really a credit card though. You know, really I mean, it card. is. It's like it's it's, a, it's technically a credit card, but in spirit, it's kind of sh it's just kind of shit. I kind of like Ostrider. I, mean, I think it's like the best card in this pack. We can go Sultan. identity theft. Sullivan carry added. Oral actually not true. Best Buy is a card that works with anywhere. Yes, they do have a different card, but that's it's not. Like I'm gonna take Sylvan Carry added. I'm just soul tying it up. Stop gambling, and you might have better better credit. Okay, gambling has nothing to do with my credit, buddy. It does. It has to do with you my suck. goddamn medical bills. Because we live in America. Does it really? Yes. I mean, do medical bills affect your credit? Yes. Once you, if you're, if you like, haven't paid them in a while, they eventually go to a collector. Did you try being less sick? God. I already know this. There was one time I was in a hospital for a very long time and it cost me a lot of money. Did you try running away and using a, an alias? See, this is what I, I mean. You have no one to blame that. but yourself. You have no one to blame but yourself. If you're literally going to a hospital for a long time and you don't use an alias, like that's literally your fault. File for bankruptcy? That also seems like a bad idea because I could lose my car over that. That seems... Is that a thing? I don't think that's true. They could. It depends. Depends on if you... Also, you can't... Also, when you were bankrupt, you have to wait like seven years before you can even apply for credit cards, and that seems terrible too. So yeah, what Katie said. Typically, as long as you're making payments, like the amount of debt, you like usually it's the thing that's affecting your your credit is not your debt; it's the number of late payments you make. Hmm. I have more debt than both of you combined. I'm sure that's true. Oh yeah, hundred percent true. And I'm second. I think you have the least amount of debt of the three of us, to be honest with you. Yes, I for sure do. But I think it has to do with it has to do with the amount of places i owe to and haven't paid at least that's what the one report said
I mean, I think I've got like two or three new credit cards in the past two years, and like my credit score has just been going up because I make timely payments. I don't use a uh, sizable percentage of my available credit and sell your car to Frank for a dollar then he'll have the title and then they can't come and take a car from you man what a genius that's actually I mean it's funny but that would kind of it's work a blood artist and a Zulaport cutthroat in this pack except for the fact that I couldn't actually get a credit card or apply for loans for another seven years which fucking seems knew it was coming back maybe try discover Mike I don't know, I'm gonna call my bank about it because I'm they did deny me but it was only for one card so I wonder I'm curious They might have like a different card I can apply for. Different card you can apply for? My credit score is like 520, 542, something like that. I think I'm as a good guy. Really, if you have bad credit, secured card or a co-signer for a card is the only way to go. No, I've heard that there are cards out there you can get with bad credit. It's just kind of hard to find them. Did you try having better credit? God. Holy crap, mutual. Uh, trust me, my credit score used to be way worse than that. Still higher than my limited rating? Dang, what is my limited rating right now? A nickel. I think it's under here. God's loading real slow though. I don't want to miss picks. Okay, we didn't miss anything. I'll move it over here for now. Uh, is it under account settings? No. Game history. Yep. My limit rating is seventeen seventy nine, which is actually pretty solid. That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> I don't know about DC. What's like a top score? Uh, eighteen hundred. Okay. Is like a really solid score. Did you apply for a Shut McGriddle up, card, Michael? <laughs> no. Arctic Bounty. Attack ninjutsu your shinobi and get an opponent's shinobi from the trigger. Bounty open forever but must happen in a draft. $100 reward. <laughs> That's fucking impossible, but I'm game. Wow. I have to ninjutsu a shinobi and then, like, steal their shinobi with it? That seems really good. I like go for the throat. I also like Mana Gorge or Hydra. I think I want to go for the throat, though. This creature has, or this this format does have some creatures that you want to. I want to take Polluted Delta. I also want Fixing to be decent. Man, Katie's being super helpful. How many does this make? Three? Three spiders? So a three five and a one three and a one two and a one two and a one two. One two, one two, one two. See, exclusion mage, unlike mana war, it only targets the opponent's creatures, which was the issue I had. We could also just take out these two green creatures and just not be green, which I think is totally reasonable. I don't think Plague Engineer is that good here. I think it just might be Exclusion Mage. Could just be Plague Engineer. <laughs> I don't care what happens 10 years from now. All right. Open Bounty forever. Oh, I do like Order for Ninja. That's great. Wow. Oh, Murderous Rider? It's a... Come on, sing it for me, Michael. It's a Murderous Rider. Do you want Underground River or do you want Miss Calc? Or Ponder or Murderous Rider. This pack is gas. Is banning on Monday only for older formats? Yes. No, it's literally, they literally clarified that it is only Legacy, Vintage, and Brawl. So if you're expecting any changes in Pioneer or Modern or Standard, then too, too bad. I actually kind of like Miscalc here. Is 
Agent? I was hoping for an agent ban. Oh, yeah. Agent of Treachery is a real piece of shit. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Murderous Rider. Oh, negate and a preordain? Oh yes, I'm in. Credit card, credit card here. I'm in the mail with your name on mic on my mic B. <laughs> with, with your name on my mic B? What does that even mean? Oh man. I think we're taking preordain. Maybe the negate comes back. I don't think people respect negate. Oh, Choops. Choops is also real good to bounce with uh you boy. War Kite Marauder is good. I don't think we're in for a braids deck. Oh, Glensleaf Siphoner? These are all really good creatures that are just like great to to Shinobi. Yeah, alright. Flame Tongue Kamu? I guess Brineborn Cutthroat is a guy. I don't know. It's not great. What are you doing over here? You're sending a fucking... A novel? Yeah, I'm sending a novel. That's really cool, man. Congratulations on your novel. Thanks, bro. Good for you. You know, you know what Louis, you Louis Lewis and Huey Lewis in the news said, right, though? No. Tip to be square, Michael. Hmm. Look at that turtle. She's trying to get your attention. Is she, though? Yeah, look at her. She's swimming right towards you. She just won't thought erasure. Oh man, yes. I'm game. Credit card here. I'm a credit card for bad credit. What did you expect? Proper grammar? <laughs> you know, I guess not. I guess not, credit card. I appreciate you. Decoroo, this deck is looking pretty sweet. And I didn't even need these green cards. Oh wait, how did Fallen Shinobi get over there? That's awkward. Can you imagine if I just like accidentally forgot to put Fallen Shinobi in the main deck? It's a, it's a lot. Is that typical? Yeah. Didn't you just move to Utah? Oh, man. I feel like I have to go. Oh, wow. Miscalc and Underground both came back? I think I'm just going with Underground here. Under the sea. Um, the plan is always to move to... God, I feel like I tell this story literally every other week. Um, every day. The plan is always to go to... De like... Katie's internship ends in June, so wherever she ends up, that's where we have to go. And it turns out it's just going to be Denver. And, uh, yeah, and her lease is up. Her lease is up in June. My lease was up in January. So I needed a place to live between June and January. My friend Jake, who lives in Utah, uh, said that he had extra space for us so we could live here. And, for, you know, for the few months, and he charged us a little bit. So that's where we are. And the plan is always to leave here for wherever she ends up. And that's where we're going. Yeah. Decker, the fact that, like, Underground River and uh, Miss Cal come back. Like, I feel like all the cards we wanted in packs came back. Even Necrotal is not terrible. We have 19 cards here and, like, three fixing lands and a whole pack left. Custody Lich is awesome, actually. I really like this card. I think it's probably better than Drowned. Drown and watch. Drown and watch. Drown and watch. Drown and lutch? Dr drown and lutch? What are you saying right now? Oh, that's not that card. This is awkward. Yeah, maybe. Why? <laughs> you can't even be bothered to look up at the screen to see the I, card no, you're the singing worst about. Part is, I, I looked at the screen and still called it that. Drown and lutch? And lock. I'm taking the custody lich. Oh, Sower of Temptation? I didn't even know you were here. Hero's Downfall? Oh, man. I'm going to put the Necrotal over here. I think we're just taking the, her the hero. We already have Murderous Rider. And by hero, I mean Sower of Temptation. I don't know why I said hero there. Oh, I do like a Spell Pierce. Sometimes you just want to get him. Aether Hub does also... Uh... What do you like about Denver? He likes that I live here. That's true. My favorite part about Denver is definitely Katie, so. Oh, control magic and a thought seize? I think we're taking thought seize over control magic. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you applying for credit cards? Maybe. <laughs> Guys, Michael is applying for credit cards as we speak. Well, why not? 
I don't know, because we're drafting? Yes. <laughs> I think we're just taking thought sees here. Doomblade. I guess I can do that later. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Doomblade. I think it's a pick. Really? Mike, do you have a Credit Karma account? No. But I do have TurboTax, which gives me a credit score. I'll take Champion of Wits. I don't care about you. Oh, a little Rankle. They used to call Mike Stankle in in high school. Similar. They used to call him old Michael Stankle. Stankle B is what they called him. Honestly, the prices in Denver aren't that much worse than Florida. I don't think, I don't think, yeah, I don't think they are. Because, like, the place me, you, and Felipe had, our rent was, like, 700 right? As opposed to eight. Well, our rent was 1500 1550 or something like that. But with, like, the electric was, like, 200 mm -hmm. The water was, like, 180 because Felipe took five-hour showers <laughs> every day. And, like, yeah, I remember my, I used to give you, like, 690-something a month. So it's not that much higher. Yeah, we divided it so like I would pay 34% of the bill and Mike and Felipe would pay 33% of the bill because I got the bigger bedroom. But Felipe also, should have uh, played 50% of the bill because... <laughs> yeah, Felipe should have been paying a lot more. We're definitely not. Um, but also, that was... Clearwater's like a smaller city is where Den Ooh, Denver days. is like a bigger city, you know what I mean? So like if we lived in Tampa, that'd probably be what our rent would be, you know what I mean? What'd you say? If we live in Tampa, those would probably be other prices we'd pay. Huh? I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we saw both of the, the Eldrazi Titans going by here. Denver's pretty nice as far as large cities go with a lot of outdoorsy things to do, plus some great food options. Downsides are price and competition for housing, but that may be all the same. Yeah, I don't think that's I don't think that's exclusive to Denver. It's free and they have suggestions for cards you can apply for. Oh, interesting. Yeah, whatever. I'm give you one of right now. Control magic came back? Come on. Come on. Credit karma. One day I'll get a credit card again. I don't believe you. I used to have one. <laughs> Doubt it. I still have it. I don't think so. I don't so know either. why it doesn't it doesn't do anything, but What do you mean it doesn't do anything? Did you break it? What? Did you break your credit card? No, I defaulted on it. God, that was a long time ago, okay? That was like when I was like 19. That was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. You know what's the funniest part about that? I remember. Can you guess what the limit was? $1,000. <laughs> no, it was only like 300 <laughs> How do you default on a $300 credit card? Well, I was about 14 at the time, <laughs> so I didn't know how to pay my bills or make any money. Massacre Girl, I always went on the sideboard. Just... I mean, that was back when I was in college and working at PetSmart, I did not make enough money at all. Yeah, but can't you pay like 20 bucks a month? Well, see, I was young and stupid, so I was just like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Another down like, oh no, I gotta pay for it. Another downside to Denver is that if you bring your paddleboard to the wrong entrance at Stanley Lake, you have to go to court. It's true. Katie almost got arrested because she brought her paddleboard. Wait, really? Yeah. They were like, what? What? What do you mean? Why? Because there's only you got to go through a certain entrance if you're bringing something in, so they can like make sure it's clean, make sure it's like not, because they don't want you to bring your shit in and then contaminate the the lake. So they have mm. to, yeah. So you have to go into the gate that has the guy at it. You worked at PetSmart. Me too. Oof, yeah. Oof, indeed. That's a terrible company to work for. Really? Yeah, they're not great. That makes me sad. That was kind of my experience though. So it might just been the store and the manager, but uh, yeah, they pay pretty low and. When you were at PetSmart, did you ever go for Detroit? <laughs> go for Detroit? Yeah, did you ever go for Detroit? No, I love gophers. I would never do that. Okay. Oh, so they don't have gophers at PetSmart, Frank. Is that true? And you guys are chatting it up. I got fired from them on Labor Day, the irony. Wow. I did not get fired. I, I straight quit because there was some BS. Basically, what happened, the reason I quit is... Uh, it was a long time ago when me and Frank were doing like a... Long, week. long time ago. Just shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> and uh, me and Frank were doing these weekend gigs for uh, a different company. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I want to say. 
Uh, it didn't work out, but uh, at at the time being, it's the carry day. They were giving me like way like low hours. Like they would give me only ten. They're like, well, if you're gonna have to go somewhere every weekend, then we can only give you ten hours. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck off. And then I quit. I wrote a I wrote a big note saying I quit and put it on the clock out thing when I clocked out. Oh wow! I just never talked to him again. What a fucking rebel, dude. I kind of like. I'm glad I did it. Actually, bounce the guy attack. Is there anything I'm really missing that's really good? I want to really try. I want to try victimize. Seems good. The only job I've ever gotten fired from was Best Buy. What do they put on paddle boards in Denver that they need guys checking them? Coronavirus. This is literally like three weeks ago. Best Mart was all, Best Mart. <laughs> Best, <laughs> Best Buy was also a long time ago now. Best Mart. Like, I kind of just want packed navigation, I think. Best Buy is probably like seven or eight years ago. That was a long time ago. And Pest Mart was before that, so. Oh, God. Jesus. Fuck, dude. I'm sorry. Why are your burps so nasty, man? I just have nasty burps. I don't know what to tell you. That's, well, it get, that's what you want to tell me, I guess. It's that Chipotle. Oh god, we need to the way Mike danced around that side gig made was made me think y'all had two cell phones and a beeper. Oh god, oh god, make sure she doesn't. I don't, I don't like that she's doing this. Yeah, I don't think I've, I've never seen her do that before. No, right? dude, she's getting crawly in her old age. Fuck, she's really creeping me out. Turtle keeps going up on our basking area, but then, like, almost trying to, like, crawl the walls. I was offended by that burp because it was absolutely horrendous. We need, I, I don't know if it's packed or if I don't know if it's something else. I think it might just be packed. I always wanted to work at PetSmart in high school and college, and they never hired me. Look at me now, PetSmart. I'm a god dang veterinarian. <laughs> yeah, it's <that's laughs> much weird. Yeah. You didn't really miss that. Oh, I had a funny PetSmart story, actually. I was working at Best Buy, right? And I knew the girl who worked at Banfield. She was like the the office manager or something, right? And so she would come into, into Best Buy sometimes and we'd chat. And like I knew her from taking like my pets into Banfield. And um, she was like, I was like, hey, if you ever have any openings for vet techs, let me know. And I'll come in and like I'll, I'll apply for one because that'd be awesome. So like um, Turtles is she, Super Fritz, thank you very much. And so like I went in there. Or she came into Best Buy one day and she was in line and I was like, hey, what's going on? And she was like, oh, hey, didn't you say you were interested in a... Oh my God, please don't. She's like creeping me out because like the last thing I want her to do is like crawl the friggin' walls. Um, I think she can, but I get your concern. I don't know if she can either, but I don't want her to hurt herself either. Right. So um, so right color a little more black so we can go one more black. Anyway, so. So anyway, she comes to Best Buy. And she's like, oh, hey, you wanted a vet tech position? We have one open. So I go in and I apply for the thing. And then they end up hiring me. But they hired me as, like, the front desk customer service person. And I was like, uh, this isn't what I applied for. Mm -hmm. And they never changed it. Like, so I, eventually I just quit. I was just like, this is not what I want to do. Like, this is not fun for me. Like, so you didn't apply just to be their cashier, basically. Well, it was, like, it was, like, it was at Banfield, right? So, like, I was working at the front desk customer service area. Right, but it's still, like, basically being a cashier correct I mean, like, I mean like i wasn't like ringing up their product sure but it's it's but I was similar, checking people like, out you're not really gaining any experience correct i'm not getting the knowledge i wanted to like she actually sold me on it being a vet tech position like a train you know you get the training and all that kind of stuff and um like i quit my job to go do that and like it just wasn't that and i was like yeah it's awkward. uh you know i left my job for this right <laughs> oh it all worked out in the end i guess I was like, joke's on you, Banfield. I'm dating a veterinarian now. <laughs> Boldface, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. 19 months. I was more talking about your current job. but No, I, yeah, I know. I was just making a joke because because better. Shut up. I'm having an Oreo. Give me want, one. Oh, now you want one. You want another toothpaste Oreo? You fucking They're angry. still pretty good, though, for toothpaste. You're delicious, Michael. It's better than not an Oreo. I guess I can just sit it here. A non Oreo? Yeah. Like an, Indian, not having like an Indian Oreo? Well, it takes my Oreo. Asked, uh, how old am I? Fucking uh, ancient. I'm 29. As of April 1st. 
Grandpa Michael. I ain't 30 yet. Not that I really care when I turn 30. Hey, man, that means I have one more year to be an adult. Never happened. Because I think generally in life, when you hit 30, you're supposed to, like, kind of know what you're doing a little bit. Good luck. <laughs> I'm just running this dude out there. And then if we hit land, land. Uh-oh. Land? It is mint, yes. Oh, that's rough. Rebel, rebel. Yeah, we have. I got. I have mint Oreos, and they're fucking delicious because I love mint things. And Michael's like, it tastes like toothpaste. And I was like, what's wrong with you? Michael with his refined tastes. When you hit thirty, you should have a credit card. I mean, that's a good theory, it? but it's not like it's a rule. They just give you a credit card when you hit thirty. No, you should. No, I think the point is that like. You should put yourself in a position to have one because, you know, adulthood. Well, I'm a terrible mess, so. <laughs> Buddy, I know. Hey, I'll tell you what, though. I have a car that's completely paid off. That's something. Is it? Mm. Like, you should really get a store card to build credit. My problem with that is, like, it had to be a store I'd actually be willing to shop at. Let's pitch Manowar and... Like, if I end up just spending money at a store I don't care about, then, like... It doesn't make sense, right? Go for Detroit. Like, if there was, like, some kind of grocery store chain I could get a credit card for, that would be great. When he moves to Denver, you can try to get a Target card. Oh, they do have groceries, right? Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. My Jars. That's a weird name. Isn't it Myers? It's still a weird name. Like, get the card, buy something, pay it, then cut it up. Well, buying one thing and then paying it off isn't going to help my credit score that much. You need to consistently buy Come something. Come on, land. Off over Come on, over give me that fourth land. Theory, right? land. Land, 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 land. All right, see if they want to block. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is. That's the mythical Good Mythical Morning song. Do you know that? Did you know it? They're going to just kill it, but we still got value. Plus, we got an order of midnight to get it back. And then we can go order, get it back, play it. Oh, man, what a deal. Coles has a good big and tall section. What Michael meant by I'm not going to use it is that he doesn't buy his own clothing. The only way Michael buys clothing is if he gets it gifted to him at Christmas. So, just a little heads up for you guys. <laughs> Decker, would you say not the most exciting two cards? No, no, you're right. Definitely not the Fallen Shinobi we were looking for. Um, I kinda wanna get rid of this cause it's kinda scary, but I guess so is this. Hmm. I didn't know Coles had a big and tall section. How would you, you know, the only time you've ever gone into a Coles is when you're returning Amazon stuff with me. <laughs> yeah, because it's not a store that appeals to me. But how do you know? You haven't been in there. Just like a general JCPenney's kind of store. Hmm. So this is what I'm saying. Like, this is what I'm saying. All right, I'll just play a land. What are we doing here? Whenever I do occasionally buy my own clothes, it's usually off the internet. When was one was the last thing about clothes off the internet? Okay, it may have been three years, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, good gravy, Michael! Also, a lot of those department stores, big and tall stores, are very limited. I prefer like casual mail. Casual mail. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds funny, but they're pretty good. I like to go to the casual mail. I think we just thought it ratio. Also, there's probably a decent chance that casual mail has their own credit card. That I Fun fact: from. you can buy stuff off the Coles website. 
<laughs> which is in fact on the internet that's true, that's true. Mm -hmm. all right so what is this black 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 blue black, <coughs> blue that's what I threw there i think that's actually correct <laughs> casual males mike b's tinder profile name wow <laughs> oh boy Casual mail comes in a khaki envelope. Oh, nice. Yeah, so people don't know you're shopping at the casual mail, you know? You got to keep your... Uh... Yeah, for the shame. Yeah, you got to keep your shame in check. Let's see what we got here. Man, we're to ready condescend. Like, none of the artifacts they have now are really that good. And I think if you want to tap out for Doretti, I think that's fine. Yeah, I'd rather just get rid of Mana War here. Oh, um, I will put that in the graveyard. So now we're gonna go like this, and then go yes, black. Yes, because Destination XL and Casual Mail are they're owned by the same company. Alter Fate, get back Shanoobs. Shanoobs, and then play Order. That seems good. Plus, now we have Pact of Negation up too. So another two cards are Condescend already. This turtle's been getting... She's been getting rambunctious recently. Now that cat's getting rambunctious with his toy. This is ridiculous. Also, I don't currently need any clothes. You always need new clothes, Michael. Okay, so now you have Condescend to ready. Frank, can you get a turtle emote so we have one for all the animals? It's yes. An idea. Yes, I can. Oh, she got plenty of oxygen. I don't think you even know how turtles work. Turtles usually don't have jobs, Frank. <laughs> so they don't work at all is what you're saying. Pretty much, yeah. Get in there. They're at nine, too, so we could probably just kill them with Omnixilis, right? Everyone knows ultimate. turtles are communists. Everyone knows that? Yeah. That's wild. Um, you would still be missing some animals. <coughs> One, two, three, four, still five, six. Oh, I get it now. The bearded gentleman. Oh yes. Oh, we can definitely do some beard uh some beard emotes. That'd be real cute. Why do I have the song stuck in my head? Explain it to me like I'm... You can't. Okay. Um, this is actually just fine. We could just play Sower and steal our Emery. We know there are two cards in their hand. They can't condescend. Mike, what's the best way to contact you in case email and cell phone aren't available? Facebook? <laughs> Why would they not be available? They should be available, though. I don't know what you're trying to proposition me with, but uh Don't proposition him. Um, don't you get a mindstone? Do I care? No, I'll just take the Pia. Okie dokie. Where do we send smoke signals, Mike? Oh sorry, I don't have a setup for that right now. It's because you spent your money on doobies, Michael. <laughs> okay, so that's your that's your draw. You're gonna have condescend to ready. What if Frank's dog and Katie's dog don't get along? Is that the end of the relationship? No, or the they've got to go. They've met. Well, they get along. They're fine. How can you send you a telegraph? What's your Western Union account? Western oh, Union? I don't have one of those. Oh, I forgot to do it. Oh, I forgot to fall in Shinobi. Oh, oh. Mike, what's the best way to watch you at night when Frank isn't streaming? Oh, boy. That's a valid question. One, two. I mean, we're just going to play this, keep up Counterspell, and I don't think they can win. Draw a card, lose a life? Sure. 
Mike, do you like Little Man or Hunter better? Oh, that's tough. But I got to say, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Hunter. Watson has lots of anger in his soul, but also has a healthy respect for mama's feelings and will not disrupt the household. <laughs> Watson gave Hunter a hard time when we were there. Like, we drove through Denver to get to, uh, to get to Utah. And, uh, when Hunter was there, Watson was getting a little territorial, but I think that's gonna actually, I don't think that's gonna be an issue once, like, I think that'll shake itself out. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be an issue once we live together. Like, once they get used to each other, it's gonna be fine. Also, I don't think there's any chance of Hunter getting hurt, so. Days... Do I actually kill one of these? Do I kill both of them and just slam a a fallen Chinoobs? Five, six, seven, eight. I feel like that's correct. This is Mike territorial about his trash can? Very much so. Boy, don't you know it's it. It's my prized possession. It really is. All right, now we have two counter spells. Sure. <laughs> I wow, like this. <laughs> I noticed Mike getting a little territorial too. Yeah. <laughs> well, metamorph. I never metamorph. I didn't like. Are they gonna? Oh, they're gonna condescend. Frank, have you ever considered turning the cam that fell into a foot cam? <gasps> They're going to oh condescend for three, and then we get to... Oh, then we die, though. Oh, that'd be amazing, right? What a setup. We would have dazed, returned to mountain. We wouldn't have had two blue. Okay. Now you got it. Until oh! He, until he got his nightstand, his garbage can was his only possession. Not true, Thwok, okay? I'm going to counter this. I have Oop. a car and a computer. Man, why would you counter for three when I only have, like... That was a weird choice. Oh, got him. <laughs> that was so weird that they condescend for like three when I have no mana whatsoever. You can like condescend for one. Keep up. What are you guys saying right now? What's going on in the chat right now? We're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue. And then we'll take Mike higher. I already live in the tree, man. I don't know if I can get much higher. It's because of all those doobies you're buying. Everyone knows that Mike B lives in the tree under the sea in a garbage can for me. What are you saying right now? Look at this dog and turtle. They're so close together. In nature, they would never be. You don't know that. What? Hunter can swim. <laughs> Jimmy the Mole, have a good night, buddy. I will keep this <coughs> hand. Oh, they mold the six? They're basically dead. I say that every time, but it never works out. What, their death? Yeah. It's happening right now. They're going five. Watch. They're thinking about it. I'm trying to figure out what EDH deck to build next. That's always the funnest part about Commander, I think, it's just building your deck. Oh, Faithless Looting? So they're basically, they did go to five, see? I told you. Mike, do you have a recipe for your mom's famous Caesar salad? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I do, actually. Who lives in a garbage, garbage can tree under the sea? That's so intricate. Oh, fuck. We're doing it again. Are you ready? The problem is, I know the recipe, but I don't know it by measurement. I know it by, like... He knows by heart. By heart, yeah. He fe it's just a feeling he gets, guys. <laughs> Honestly, you kind of just throw a bunch of stuff together. As long as you're... Just put a bunch of shit in the pot. As oh, long as your measurements aren't too bad, it's pretty good. Oh, boy. No, you got it. So now we get to go preordain, find a land, order of midnight, get this guy back. That seems okay. I have 12 egg decks. I think I have a problem. You have 12 commander decks that are based on the eggs combo. You definitely have a problem. I think one is good, right? 
Oh, 12 EDH decks. <laughs> I was like, 12 fucking egg decks? Oh, How do you even okay. have that many decks? Based on this one thing. Concept, yeah, that'd be weird. Click that link. <laughs> That's a tortoise, not a turtle. Gosh. Fevered Visions. Interesting. Well, as a black, red, black, blue deck, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, bottom both. But of I do these. give you card land. Wow, really, really. <sighs> yep, and I got a discard. <sighs> it's rough, rough. Oh, Randy with the Patreon support. Thank you so much, my dude. Really appreciate it. Really, a preach. I wonder if I should start watching my local store stream to support them. Just do both. Put them on the background. On the background of my stream, which will be in the foreground. I can't believe these lands, dude. I'm drawing, like, two lands in the first 13 cards. Jeez, Louise. Talk about Michael's disease. Don't talk about my disease. It's in personal. The, in the trees. I guess Manowar and Swamp? I don't fucking know. Should have been Island. I'm just... They went to they went to five in their first... They looted and like we couldn't even do that? Oh, I love pastimes. I love Alan. Alan's great. What I've known Alan for like ten years now. What about Bobby? I don't know Bobby. This is his partner, Bobby. Alan's partner's not named Bobby. I don't know why you'd say that. What? 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 What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> not hit Yeah, see, like, discarding the swamp instead of the island is just bad. Because now we can only play one thing. All our cards are black. I'm just going to go to the... We're going to go game three here. I don't feel good about Fever Vision's course of Portal. I'm taking two a turn. I just can't. Frank, how would you rate quality of this cube? One to ten. One to ten? I, I think it's good. It. I think it's good. Yeah, I've only done, like, five drafts so far, but I think it's good. Initial, initial, um, rating, I would say like seven to eight. It's very good. So 7.5. Sure. <laughs> Getting beat by Hunter, that's not good for Knack. For Knack. God, I can't type. Getting beat by Hunter? What does that mean? That means Hunter is going to beat you up. Oh, because our opponent's name is Hunter. I didn't uh, even realize that. That's funny. Hey, that's funny. Uh, yeah, snap it up. I don't know why they're being so annoying right now. I always feel like there's something wrong when they do this. <laughs> On a scale of wet to dry? Um... What does that mean? Mildly damp, I think. <laughs> Moist. Beautiful. We don't deserve Shiro. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's so beautiful. Um... Hunter, will you shut up? I don't know. You just put the head in my hand. There put you your head in my hand. I got your little snake. I don't think I care about either of these things. Actually, maybe I don't care about the signet. Electrolyze seems annoying. I think. Oh god, I hate you. I think it's just War Kite Marauder here. <clears throat> like we just don't have a way to deal with it right now. It's just a 2-1, though. It does make Electrolyze significantly better. Like, turn 2 this. How about on a scale of Bazorples to Sober Scrober? Dang. The scale's getting real confusing. I think it might be just Electrolyze. Yeah, let's take Electrolyze. Order of Midnight. Order of Midnight. We'll let it all hang down. You know that song? Yes. Okay. I'll DL. We're all friends here. Yes. Right? 
Okay, well, I guess we do. All right, get rid of island. Oh, interesting. Bazorpals. Oh, have been compromised? Those, the green screen? Oh, yeah, like a lot on this side. <laughs> wow, man, I couldn't even see that because I didn't have anything up. That's hilarious. Alright, I guess we're just going to go Champion of Wits. <coughs> yes. Oh, easy. Yes. Easy game, easy, easy life. This guy, and we'll get rid of Lich. Because then we can get, rid get it back next turn with the order. Alright. 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 You know what I love? Chip, chip, cheerios. Fucking mashed potatoes, dude. Man, you're on a real mashed potato kick lately, man. Uh, you're right. I feel like I've had That's so much... the reason why I went to KFC, bought them the other day for the cookout. What's about them? Oh, I saw that. It was pretty hilarious. Yeah, that guy's really gone downhill. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with him, man. It's sad, because I... Same. He used to be big on that guy. Same. I thought he was, like, one of the cool ones, but he... Turns out he's just kind of a shitbag. Shiv and Reef in play, yep. Like, what time do you get up to be ready for work? It's 7.30 a.m. Uh, I usually wake up around 7, then I snooze, then I get up. So I'm usually out of bed by, like, 7.20. Oh, 7.20, blaze it. I told you about those doobies. And I usually clock in about five minutes early, typically. Thank you. Ben Big Card, it is Thursday, my dudes. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Let's see what we hit off this first. Okay. So now we can go Alter Fate to get back Custody Lich. I'm going to get custody of this guy. What if, what if he wants to be with his mom instead? I'll let the courts decide, Michael. <laughs> You got a hair hanging over here? What's going on? I got a hair, 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 hair hanging from my forehead. <laughs> it's just like in my view. When is show? Oh my god, Katie, how. I need to rally? What does that mean? She, I mean, she's falling. She's getting sleepy. Oh my god, double shrines? And she said she'd be up later. I, this is what I'm saying, dude. You gotta be careful. She gets all... Once she gets some sleepies in her... I feel like I'm just slamming this dude as a man. Play this dude as a man. Because I want to race these shrines. If you want to use a shrine on a murder shrine, like, that's fine. Thank you. Jism Jr., thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I really appreciate it. What did you just do with your hands? Just in the microphone. Did you just do a ninja sign? Yeah, man. I did my secret jutsu. Jutsu? Yeah. That's wild. You think you know a guy, and then he does a secret jutsu. Oh, Bobby Biscuits. His name is my name, too. Okay, so what if they go shoot this? Then we can't become the monarch, right? Yeah, we'll just get on with you for now. They could shoot both if they hit a land, but... I mean, then we just get to be the monarch again, so... I'm like Madara up in this bitch. You're what? I said I'm like Madara up in this bitch. Madaro? Yeah, Madara. Madara? Who, I don't know who that is. Is that your boyfriend? Is that your girlfriend? No. Is that your... It's a Naruto reference. Oh, like... Uh, like Rock? Is that his name? Like Rock? Rock. Rock uh, very close, very close. Brock? Rock Lee? Rock? There you go, Rock Lee. You got it. Fucking nailed it. I love that show. <laughs> Oh, they discarded Aetherling and Ancient Stone Idol? God, look at these fatties. Are they tapping this? Stoking the flames. Stoking! 
Do you know about Stoken? I know we're in danger. 7, 12, 13, 14. Well, you know, it's true. What you're saying is true. 1, 2, 3. Discard the two lands. Hope we don't die. Oh boy, I think we're Rock just... Lee. We open up the seventh seal up in here. Uh, they're called gates. Thank you. Gates. Remember when Rock Lee trained with all them weights on his legs? Uh huh. And he took them off, and he was like, "I got strong ass legs now." <laughs> yep. That, that was, was pretty early in the show, but that did happen. That was sick. That was early in the show. Yeah, that was like the season finale, man. Nope. Of episode of season thirty six. That's too many seasons. Although the show is too pretty long. many seasons. Dirt. Oh man, are they gonna sack something to get back their ancient stone idol? Do it. Guy Sensei would be disappointed in me. Yeah, but he forgive you. He's a good guy. This is interesting because without a land, they don't get to. Uh, Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. Four, five, six, we have eight mana. We can bounce. We can steal this. Four, eight, nine, ten. There's no way we can deal two more points here, is there? Which is really obnoxious. Uh, target artifact creature gets plus one, plus oh. Nope. Unless there's some way you can... Steal their guy and give it haste. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You know, I don't think so. You know, I don't think so. I think Gazelle's conscript would do the trick. Yeah, but I don't have that. You see. Well, that's poor deck design. I agree with you. The thing is, they have to hit a land next turn, or else they can't kill us with both of these. Why not? Because they cost three each, and they only have five mana. That's true. I know. That's why I said it. I think we're gonna kill so I you. I guess you gotta just play to your out, right? Like, that's all you can do, really. You might as well just steal it, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because they can't kill it this turn. Unless you wanna leave up Downfall for something? Oh, you might wanna Downfall the Duretti, too. I guess you can't oh, and I was just gonna attack with this and kill the Duretti. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. What is this they're gonna do? Now they could shoot you, I guess. No, they can't. That doesn't do that. Oh. I mean, we just have to dodge a land. That's what we're trying to do. And we have to hit the Duretti to make sure to minimize those chances. Yeah, the one damage isn't going to make a difference anyway. No. Well, the two, but... And we'll just play Glinty. All right. No land. Dodge a land! <sighs> oh my god. Come on, one to three, baby. <sighs> they haven't slammed it yet. This is, I think, I think actually putting this student in play was a huge mistake. This ancient son. Like, they could have literally just killed us with, with Signet in play because they had six lands. And now they're forcing us all to hit the, the second land. Like, just either this is the slowest roll of all time, or we got there. Katie Mellow, how are you doing? Are you dying? Do you want to take an hour nap? Because two more rounds probably be about an hour. Welder? That will not do it. I barely know her. I mean, you can hit me for 11. Yeah, you just had to not sack this signet. 
Would you say mistakes were made? Yeah. Oh. Brah! Because even I didn't have lethal on board. I only had ten. Like the odds of me having something that deals two damage to you with haste is just. You're always like nine thirty, and then it's always like that's. Oh my god, that's so you. We'll say like, hey, let's watch shows like seven. And you're like, I'm running about forty five minutes late. <laughs> Bund cake and Mountain Dew. Oh my god. I do like a good Mountain Dew. That's I bet delicious. you do. Ooh, that's that's a nice. That's what's known as a little safety net. I'm just gonna actually. They have no cards in hand. What's the safety net? Well, they can kill one thing. They kill this, then they block with this. They have two blockers. Well, you just kill it, right? Stupid. Well, I was just gonna mana war it. That works too. I'll Whatever you want to do. I'll yeah. chew it. I'm chooping. Okay. I want to choop it with you. Okay. Unless it's literally your big blind and no one raises, so you just get to check to the flop. Otherwise, you should just fold. Uh, Love Tap, it's Rat Train, not Rat Town. I don't even know what Rat Town is. <laughs> Send them on down to Rat Train. Mike, how do you come up with your funny Bring bits? Do you think of them before the stream? The no. No, not at all. <laughs> that shit is off the top of his brain. It just comes to Send me. Send them on down to the top of Mike's I'm brain. Kinda like a, I'm kind of like a sage, you know? Yeah, you're something, all right. The only reason to play 2 7 off is if you're in a weird cash game where someone gives you a prop bet to play it. And even that's pretty loose. Yeah, stipulation. I always play every 2-7 offsuit. Now, yeah. that would be an interesting stipulation. See how many times you actually win those hands? What are you doing, lady? I'm going to go with about 3%. I think that's about the odds. I think that's... Of winning? Of getting to the river and winning? Well, then you're not oh, being aggressive 3%. enough. You're not pushing these bitches out, Michael. Buddy, Push them out! In my games... If anyone even has bottom pair, they are going to stick to the rim. I know. They're so, yeah. They're, that's because they're bad, though. That's the thing. Their bad plays are actually making it harder for you to, like... Well, you just... Bluffing just doesn't generally work. It only tends... Bluffing only starts to work when, when the field gets lower. So, like, once the rebuys are over and we're down to, like, five to six players, then people play a little more smart, and you can start getting card. bluffs off. But before then, people just call with literally anything. They might fold ace high if you're lucky. It's real weird. I feel like we just want to choops this guy, but... Which would never happen in any regular tournament. Does the rat train get to the river? Buddy, if you got the rat train, you just shove all in every time. Shove in and on the rat train. Have you ever... Oh, we're playing against Caleb. Interesting. I bet the odds of winning on the river with 2-7 offsuit are actually way less than that. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 2%. That's fascinating. If you don't include bluffs. <laughs> I'm going to draw another card with this guy. Choops for Paradise Druid is interesting. Okay. What's your thoughts on the cube? Best colors or type? I think it's too early to tell that. It seems like blue is pretty strong, though, in my opinion. Mike, did you sing Rat Train to the tune of a different song, or was it original? 100% original. 100%. <laughs> Have you ever gone outside and got to call on the Rat Train? Order of midnight. We're gonna let them all hang down. I feel like he's gonna play some Eldrazi bullshit right now. I don't even remember what Nix's alt is. Uh, it's whenever they draw a card, they lose two life. It's okay. Might be better just to leave him on board, though. I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. Seems good. <coughs> Am 
my joke to you? <laughs> you drew a card. Interesting. Oh, you just chew it. Yeah, yeah, all right. I mean, or we can... I was thinking of sowering it as well, but... I think yeah, but you don't get the token, so what's the point? It's just a 5-5. Five, five. Maybe that's good enough? I don't know. <laughs> Did you seriously draw six lands straight? Yep. You've seen this stream before, right? <laughs> First time, huh? I think Katie left to go get Mountain Dew and Bunt Cakes. Is the streamer off? I bet he's streaming right now. Oh, I bet he is. I think for guys like me and Caleb, it's very rare we play magic like this without streaming it. Like, it's just not... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It's like Ob is both players? Definitely not. Target opponent gets an emblem with whenever... A oh, it's whenever A player... Yeah, whenever A player draws a card. Got you, got you. I thought you meant it's whenever A player draws a card that, that player takes too. I was like, no, definitely. you. That would be terrible. That would be the worst. Hey, what are you doing over there? More bugs? What are you saying? I don't like it. What is the best kind of cake? I'm a big carrot cake fan. I also like chocolate carrot mousse cake. I feel like the reason I like carrot cake, though, is just the cream cheese frosting. Cream cheese? Birthday cake. <laughs> Mike, I just Facebook friend requested you. Are you okay to accept? Yeah, sure. I'll accept it right now. Then you can uh, give me your offer or whatever you want to talk about. That doesn't involve texting or emailing. Yeah, Brandon, it says that, that, that you're a mutual friend. And I was like, oh, man. What a simp. <laughs> a random girl I don't know. Is it the same one? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's that's hilarious, dude. That's not a real person. Mike, are you sure? Pretty positive. Dustin, I just accepted your request. Who? Facebook chat is my preferred communication method, honestly. Are these all? Okay. These two are just going at odd? So I could double block and put it... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lol, well, they say they were a white girl from Oklahoma who liked to go watch the sports match. <laughs> I love going to watch. Oh, wow, another land. Classic. Classic. It's true. And that'll kill him pretty quick. Although we gotta not die somehow. <sighs> I guess you could victimize? Yeah, we are victimizing. What about better than sex cake? Ever tried that? Oh, I think How we're still that? dead. Yeah, it's still six. Yep. It's the best we can do. Oh, because they come to play tapped. That's the difference. Okay. Well, that'll do, I guess. And we drew like 19 fucking lands in a row, so I'm not really going to feel terrible about that. But Massacre Girl might be great here. You have a cobra, at least. <laughs> There's always that. Take out Pact. 
Actually, uh, pack could be real good too. What are you shaking for, Hunter? I don't know. He's weird. I think I victimized. Yeah, just run for It was only eight rands in a row. Hmm. Eight rands? Mm-hmm. Here's the recipe for the cake. I bet it's just a bunch of chocolate. Looks like a truffle cake. Oh, condensed milk. Once you put condensed milk in a cake, I'm on board. That's basically three milks. Let's try leches, Michael. All right. Yeah, that's, that's why I missed the point. Doesn't 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 does point. <laughs> oh. oh! I mean, I like that we got like eight hits in with Glen Sleep Siphoner, and we still couldn't close it out because we drew like seven lands. But Korean chat was eight. Was it literally eight? I have. I actually wasn't sure. Quit talking about your sex cake. Yeah, you fucking perverts. <laughs> Keep it. I mean, assuming you draw some lands, it's pretty good. Well, I got Thought Erasure and a champion, so... Fingers crossed. <gasps> smallpox? I don't think you want smallpox against a green deck. I mean, I say that, you know... Of course they're going to sack a creature, but they're also going to have mana acceleration and... More artifacts and things, so. <coughs> hey, you. Good. Let the hate flow through you. Fascinating. One, two, three, four mana. I mean, Pat's pretty annoying if you're trying to ninja. I agree. I mean, those other cards are also very good. Yeah, that's true. I think Hermit's the scarier card. Avengers a little bit later. I'm gonna take Vent and take Deep Hermit. Um. It kind of guarantees your ninja. Which is pretty sweet. But he's probably not blocking your champion. Yeah, but then they're just going to path the ninjas, so it's like... Yeah, that's true also. I don't think ninjas are playing here. I'll put you on top, because we're going to champion a width next turn anyway. That's kind of why I like, kinda like taking path there. Right, but then if they play this, like, we don't really have an answer to it. What if we get one? Like what? What in our deck deals with four one ones and no, a two? I mean, like, what we get off them. What do you mean, what we get off them? Like, what we hit off of our ninja. Or they could just block. No, they won't. <laughs> oh. I see. I think it's definitely you. Yark in Commander is sweep and waiting to build him. Probably troops for now. The problem with Yark is he kind of like every build of that deck is kind of the same. Alright, planes. Mirari's Wake. Every game. 
so much for that Avenger. I didn't play a land, and I could have fallen Shinobi'd here. That's pretty fucking bad. Oh, yeah, that's real bad. Yep, that was actually terrible. Because now we don't get to do, like, anything right now, so... Fascinating. Yeah, get some more triggers. I'll get some A trigger, sure. Could, that could have been real good. Like, it would kill a 1-1, one, one, a 2-2, two, two, a 3-3. Three, three. Wait, can you still do that? I don't have total black. Oh, all right. Okay. I don't actually think it matters. Thrag Tusk and Hypocrisite. Is this... He didn't cast it from hand, so... I mean, if we draw a, a black, I think Masquerel actually keeps us in this game. I think you're right. Well, yeah, because this would trigger once, this would trigger twice, this would trigger four times, it would kill everything. <laughs> oh, Lord. And Lincoln to win seems pretty good. One, two, three. Let's see another black. This is also like 16 damage, so. No. Well, I guess we could do block some of it, but. Actually, this into this. Yeah, we still get to actually... I think we're still in commanding position with Warkite into Massacre Girl. Surprisingly. So I'm just going to jump here. And then we're going to wipe the fucking board. That was pretty sweet. Oh, that's good enough. Oh, good. Eight mana. <laughs> His top decks have been pretty nuts. Yeah, I mean, he had a top deck this. Wake into... Into wins. wins now into that. Yeah, like... Um, sure. And we 
we've got Sower and Ob here. We're not in terrible shape, but... Polaco Arm's a hell of a drug. My phone is definitely listening in my life. I had never heard of this RC Willy place until yesterday's stream, and now I'm getting Facebook ads for them. That's weird, because I don't even know... Wow. So you top deck another good thing? Okay, sure. Okay. Oh, good. Good, good, good. This is insane, dude. It's really good, man. Oh, I should have... I guess I should have activated. That's unreal. <laughs> Man of War one time. Fucking swamp. Guess I should have really sacked, huh? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, Lord. Good times. I guess you take a B. A Michael B. Yep. Those draws have been insane. Yeah, I mean, like, what do you do? I think you probably play the Rider too, right? Well, then this makes us a 5-5 five, five and we have no good blocks for it. We got a Death Touch B. But then we have no blocks for these guys? I don't know. Like. Also, doesn't he have Death Touch himself? This? No. No, okay. It's not, it's not Vampire Nighthawk, man. Just draw Kozilek like this turn. If he taps any mana at all, that's insane because he literally hasn't drawn a land in like four turns then. And we've drawn like a land consistently. Down here, salt is a way of life. Yeah, wins gave us around four lands, but, like, we still have a fewer lands in our deck, right? Like, that doesn't change the, the ratio in the deck. Or, it, I mean, it does. Which is why I feel like we should be drawing fewer lands. And even if you give us four, like, four is the number that we have over, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I mean, it's still eight to ten. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Since the 2 2 couldn't block, might as well have sent it, right? Oh, can it not block? No. Just these guys? That's fascinating. I mean, it seems like a very obvious block. What? Now we're definitely cracking this in Water Grave. Ha! <laughs> oh, Lord. Can't block the dude anyway, so might as well get in there. So they should be at three because we should have attacked with the water last turn, but... No 
Okay, we're going to three, so lightning helix. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Fucking amazing. That's incredible, dude. Absolutely just incredible. Like, you have to have Lightning Helix in your fucking deck, and you also have to draw it, right? Like, you have to draw it that turn. So, these draws were like... <laughs> Lightning Helix, Hornet Queen, Mirari's Wake, uh, Winds of Abandon, like, uh... Hornet Queen. They said Hornet Queen. And then the... Yeah. Encountery guy. Just pretty wild. Oh, Palaka Worm. That's the other one, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, Hornet Queen, Palaka Worm, Mirari's Wake, um, Lightning Helix, and Winds of Abandon. Like, those five draws. Like, I mean, the, the Palaka Worm actually got you out of the situation where, like, right. I can kill you on board. Uh, so so did the Hornet Queen. You basically drew seven relevant spells in a row. Mirari's Wake was the only reason you can cast any of them. Right. Because you didn't have seven mana. Lightning Helix is the only card that kills us at, like, three life. I mean, it's just kind of wild, I guess. <laughs> he drew a land one turn. <laughs> Maybe. It's just annoying when you like your opponent goes runner, 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 runner. And I'm like, well, I drew three runners, uh, but they were They're lands. lands yeah. I guess those aren't runners after all. More like three walkers. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's fine. Playing the Murder Shroud a turn earlier might have, but then they get to they get to attack with the um, the Mana Gorge or Hydra. I, I don't know, like maybe it's yeah, definitely possible. If you do that. Well, not necessarily. We could double block it, and we're gaining life that in that situation <coughs> as well. Sure. If you walk twice at the same time, it's the same as running. Is that true? I don't know how running works. Or walking. Or movement. I moved once. Not a fan. When I move, you move. Just like that. Just like that, Michael. Just like that. I don't understand. Just like that. You'll never stop me. Stop me from what? Making my little coughs. I would never want to do that, Michael. That was... That would hurt me as much as it hurts you. This hurts me as much as it hurts you. When I cough, you cough. Just like that. <laughs> Oof. You got it. Wish I had a daze for that lady. Daisy! When you're paying one man a... Oh, that was a weird attack. Why? That's got menace. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I got this. How many feet of fruit by the foot is too many to eat in one day? Asking for me. No, don't. Look, see, they didn't even know. Don't try to block my menace creature, you scumbag. Um, how many feet are in one package? I think it's three feet per pack. Is per, it really? Per, yeah. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Is that... You don't think so? I don't know anything about Fro by the Foot. Fro by the Foot? I don't know anything about Fro by the Foot. Fro by the Foot. Three, six, nine. Fruit by the Foot. Give it to me, give it to me one more time. Well, I got a Costco. Right, but the packages, the individual fruit by the foots are the same, right? No. So it's like 46 feet or something. <laughs> no, it doesn't come on one spool, Kami. Like, <laughs> does it? It fucking doesn't, right? That's crazy. 
<laughs> That's a crazy. It's like Big Chew. The daily recommended amount of fruit by the foot is one meter. I don't know if that's true. Well, it would be because three feet are in one package, so you get one package. That makes total sense, actually. Yeah, but do they recommend you eat all of it in but, one day? But, 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 but. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. What's that, an American feed, commie? <laughs> Oh, Katie, do you have the industrial fruit by the foot? Yeah, it's three feet in one foot in one package. Does it should say it on there? What's it gonna? Be? I like that when they, this guy gets negative. Look, when this guy gets negged, uh, it doesn't. It, the flavor text remains. Thank God. But the flavor text remains. You can take my creature's abilities, but you'll never take his flavor text. <laughs> who who was that man? That was Joe Walsh. Hi, I've been drinking a lot. <laughs> Who is nice. that? Mick Gimp. Oh, wow. 1015. Mike, Chris sent me this... Uh... Chris sent me this position for Blizzard. Is this the same one I have open, actually? No way, right? Oh, that no longer exists. Don't do that, man. Now people are going to apply. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm worried now. <laughs> I kind of like Lily here. Maybe we're victimized. Victimized is watching you. I'm only at nine feet so far. You've eaten nine feet of fruit by the foot today? Katie, listen. You need to stop. That's like that's like worse than me. I'm gonna keep this hand. Mike, my question is should I apply to it? Because I'll be moving to Denver in June. And I don't foresee myself able to move to California anytime soon. So I don't know what that to seems do a about awkward. that. This is a quarantine life, okay? You <laughs> oh, man. Good gravy. Guys, this is what I'm going to have to deal with when we move in. I'm going to come home. She's going to have eaten nine feet of fruit by the foot. Oh, banishing light. And s this hand is... Mike, are you still snacking on those fancy yogurts? They are all gone. I'm going to take banishing light. We're all working from home right now. Hmm. Yeah, but I have to assume that's going to end sometime, right? Maybe not. I need an island, guys. It's oh. one of those weird things where, like, so many companies you have to go in an office, but it's really not necessary. Like, in, in this day and age. Just give us a blizzard to open an office in Denver. Well, the thing is, after this year, after next June in 2021, Katie's going to do a residency, and we don't even know... We don't even know where that's going to be. Oh, we were told it's September that you're going to revisit? Wow, so I could be working there for like three months. That's not bad. When I move, you move. Just like that. Also, I feel like if you were employed for three months, you can make the argument like, hey, like, I can't I, really come into the office. And you guys, you know, I'm obviously a valuable employee, et cetera, et cetera. What you if I what wasn't, though? What if I was a real, a well, real don't shit be, bird? Don't do that. You'll probably get fired before then if you're a real bad employee. Oh, look what we did. Look what we did. Look, Michael, look. Lock, lock while we did. Okay, hear me out. Okay. Me, Frank, Michael, all have a fruit by the foot consumption race on stream as our inaugural stream in the Denver house. How, um, a race? Are we going to eat? Okay. You know what? I don't care the rules. I'm in. 
If you look at the French version of Fruit by the Foot, it doesn't feel as daunting. They call it Fruit Along. Is that true? Wait, they played this instead? Do we get to Ninja Fruit? Nug eating oh, race. I see. Bro, if it's a nug eating race, I'm going to crush it. Are you? Dang it. It would have been so good. It would have been so good. Can we gamble on the winner? Maybe for charity. Sometimes you want to camball on the winner. You know that dude? Camball? I do know that dude. Yeah, that's right. He's my worst nightmare. He's your worst nightmare? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I hate that card. Why? Because I like sp I like I like sports. Sorceries. I like sports. <laughs> I do not. I like incense and sportseries. I don't think I care about this. I think I just want this work. I'm gonna put both on top. Can we have Mike create odds? I don't know how I would determine that. I don't know what's going on here. You guys are starting a whole fucking really know, underground fruit by the foot gambling ring over I know, here. I know Frank is relatively slow eater. I'm not really sure about Katie, so. Buddy, I can put some gummies back, bro. <laughs> We're not eating gummies, bro. Oh. Also, man, you see me eat. I'm like a lawnmower. I'm like a lawnmower. Okay, wow. I'll have to brag about it, Michael. I think we're just going to steal this, and then they're just going to be like, I can see it. I give up. Yes, I will be moving to Denver as well. Everyone keeps asking that. Like, that'd be so weird if you just lived in, like, Denver for, or Utah for, well, like... If, if, I, if I wasn't moving to Denver with you, there'd be no reason for me to use move That's to what Utah. I mean. That'd like, it'd be, be really so... Weird. Yeah, that's... Someone asked that yesterday, and I was hey, like... Hey, man, you want to move with me for six months? I was like, why totally would he have come? Stuck in this random town where you know, hey, like, do you want people? Do you want to quit your job that, that pays $5 more an hour for you know three months and then you'll when you go back to florida you'll have to find another job again probably because you know but do you want to do that that also sounds you have cool to pay right? to move back to florida yeah. good luck with that or you're stuck in utah which who knows how that's gonna work so well when i move you move michael just like that which is also imagine how much of an opportunity would be designed to build yeah honestly even if you work for the free months like, attack with this guy from home like that would be great for your resume right I, I was thinking that too, right? Like, even if I have to be like, well, I'm sorry this doesn't work out, but like, yeah, still great for I, I agree. In theory, that could open up other game design positions in the future. Oh, we get to Glacial Fortress and Battle Screech? I just think it can't really hurt for you to apply, right? I don't think there's any downside, considering they're working from home right now. Well, it's all about if I move, you move, just like that, you know? I feel like Mike typically <laughs> eats like 40 nugs, so I feel like he could eat over 50. I've eaten over 50 nugs. We did 48 once. I think Kerwit. What have you eaten over 50, though? I don't think I've ever done over 50. I think you're being ambitious. I think I could, though. I don't think I could do 100. It ended up being 48 because of the, the way the nugs are divided, the orders. They came in quantities of six. It's because of the way the nugs fall, you know? <laughs> 40 only 48 that's skinny people numbers mike wow it's true oh they're not gonna battle screw have you really tried to eat over 48 nugs i doubt it kerwitt's definitely the supplier of the nugs i think he did legit supply the nugs that time <coughs> i kind of want to thought erasure here and see what we hit Oh, good. They do have something. I was working with this guy that did a stream bug eating challenge. He was going for 100 and he tapped it at 10. What kind of bug? Unless you meant Nug and mistyped it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen like people who eat weird stuff on YouTube for a living not be able to get through 100. I think uh, that one dude, what's the guy's name? Have a good day. What's the guy's name? Have a good day. Oh, L.A. Beast. L.A. Beast, yeah. I haven't LA seen that Beast dude in ages, man. do 100 nugs, dude. Actually, I kind of want to kill this. Because without this, they can't battle Screech here. And she's kind of obnoxious AF. Have a good day. What did Katie say? Just thinking about that many nugs spread in front of me makes me... Yeah, it's just too many, dude. It's it's not even it's even despite the 
the volume ratio, it's like after eating that many nugs, like you just don't want to taste that flavor anymore. You know. Also, I ate one burrito from Chipotle, and I don't even want to move tonight. I'm like, <laughs> I'm done. Oh my god, how many winds of abandon are we gonna get hit with? All of them. <sighs> Clearly. Good lord. We have eight mana. So if we had a land, we could Sower of Temptation, Custody Lich. That's actually pretty good. We did not hit a land. So I guess what we can do is play four things. One, two, three, four. Sour is what Michael calls it. Because it's like a candy to him. It's a sour candy. I kind of need to play this this murderous rider as a man. Who are you talking to? Your dad? God, your dad's always texting you, dude. It's so weird. I got an email about a $500 limit card. It's a good start, Michael. I don't know if this is legit, though. They drew an Elspeth. Seems good. Oh, wow. Let's see what we draw. I'm going to put my money on land. Oh, yeah, this is 100% scam. Nope. And Battle Screech. Not applying for that, buddy. Good try, though. It looked kind of legit at first, but it's... And land chupacabra seems worse so we have five power in the air we can actually just go kill one two three four kill both of these how many chick-fil-a nugs can and you then Mike? we actually die because we go to two well, at least 30 Chick-fil-A nugs are more filling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to block. Also, as soon as I got that link for like, you've been approved for a $500 limit, as soon as I went to the website, it was like, allow this to access, allow these notifications to access your phone. I'm like, nope, see you later. That's weird. Are you sure? What? Are you sure that's what it said? Yeah. 100% scam. Plus, when I when I hit the other part where it was like, you know, here's your email, sign up. I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. And then it sent me to a different website. Yep, that's got to be the play, right? So if we attack with this, and they attack with everyone, we go block, block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five. We gain two. I don't think we have the luxury of attacking. See this? All right, so authorize here. Oh, God, the what, that email is just like... Yeah, you can tell by the email alone it looks pretty false. Amount is $500. And when you go to the link, it gets even more sketchy. Please authorize it for shipment through the instructions ahead. Yeah, but why would you even click that to begin with? My Capital One Visa, because it's clearly a scam. Well, it's only a scam if you put in your information. It's Nope, it's still a scam even if you don't. <laughs> well, I guess I never completed the, the scam. I, I didn't, they didn't get me money, is what I'm starting to say. Oh my god, dude. I guess we have choops if we survive this turn. Oh. <sighs> Fucking cool. <laughs> T 
Top deck city, dude. It's unfucking real. Please, top deck better every opponent I have. <laughs> Christ. Have you ever tried a secure loan to build up your credit? I don't know what a secure loan is. Is that where you like pay in advance and then you can use it? Because that that's not how loans work, Michael. Frank, never forget SMA. What's SMA? I don't, I don't know actually. It sucks. Oh, it sucked my ass. No. Oh. Best spicy uh. chicken sandwich from a chain. Regrettably, Chick Fil A. I like Wendy's. It's fine. Mike V, do you not have a car loan? I did have a car loan, but it's paid off. So my card is my car was paid off uh, last year. Which bumped my credit up like a, quite a bit. <sighs> Popeye's not even really close. The one time I had the spicy chicken sandwich from Popeye's, it was like it was it was pretty right. dry. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just the one time though. Maybe I give it a second shot. I don't know. You give the bank $500 and they give you a loan of $500, then you pay a monthly payment and get the $500 back at the end. Yeah, I'm not really looking to spend $500 right now. Blasphemy, the new spicy chicken is your god. Wow. Apparently, Kurt's a fan of that Popeye's chicken sandwich. Maybe you were trying to true drive for the sandwich. You ever think about that, Moochel? Dang. It's true. I inhaled the Popeyes one yesterday. It was succulent and juicy. I must have just got a bad sandwich then. Mm -hmm. Is there a Popeyes around here though? No, there's one in Ogden. Yeah. If you want to drive an hour to go get one. Nope. Don't like that. No, don't like that. Oh, good. You're going to give me an extra card to take. Winds of Abandoned, Thalia, Spectral Sailor, Spectral Procession, Serendip, and Banalish Marshall. And you are you have two lands. Recently just had the Popeye Spicy Chicken Sandwich, and it was amazing. Wow. A lot of praise. I think we're just taking Thalia. I'll keep Shanoobs on top. All right. Manowar and Swampers. You aren't spend it because they give you back the money immediately and then you'll make like $25 payments a month. Both of these are fine, I think. I've never heard of that such a thing. Wait, so you give them $500, then they give you the $500 back and you make payments? That doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't they just give you the $500 and you make payments on it? That's weird. I don't get it. Oh, is it to, like, to see that you have $500, I guess? Shut up and take my money! Oh, Popeye's donated a dollar. Try any spicy chicken sandwich. It's better than you. Wow, that's wild. Um... I really don't want to control magic this guy because then I'm going to bounce it with the Shanoobs. Because you have bad credits, they want to make sure it's secured. Oh, so I guess it's just to make sure you have $500 to be able to pay it back, I guess. Love the driven mama. Yeah, we're still going to do this. It's like the best creature they have in their hand, and they're not anywhere near casting any of the other cards in their hand. If they want to Winds of Abandon this guy, that seems fine. I'll get another island. Fucking top text. That's 
ends. <laughs> never fucking ends, dude. Oh god, it never fucking ends. That's fucking wild, dude. Jesus. Yep, planes into spectral procession, right? <laughs> Sometimes you think you have the, the, the nut deck, but then like... The nut deck. You can't beat the... the even the Thank nut you. deck can't beat the nut draws. Super Fritz of the five gifted subs, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you, buddy. I just treated myself to a nice dinner. Brisket sliders with barbecue sauce and a ribeye steak. That's a big and dinner. sliders and a whole ribeye steak? That's what, what a... That's crazy. What a time Thank to be alive. You. It's okay, guys. It's just Hero Blade Hold. Masquero kills one, two, and then this gets a neg three, neg three. Wait, Thank right? Thank you. Yeah. So we don't even get to... What'd you say to me? Thank you. I can go for a good steak. But can you go for a bad one, Michael? Maybe I'll buy a ribeye and cook it myself. Do the old reverse sear. If we custody glitch, they sack this, then they attack with three creatures, right? This and the two guys, so they become the monarch. But we do get to keep Necrotal and Crack back to maybe become the monarch back. But then they also play Spectral, so they have infinite blockers. I think we just Mana War this idiot. And ideally they play Spectral, and then we just get to... Clean it's up. murder. It is murder. Wow. Gorilla steak or cast iron steak? I actually prefer pan seared steaks. You get a more even sear. You just made that up. Fucking liar. I did not. Do you even love that chicken from Popeyes or what? It's okay. So I just block here. Then they play their fat mama. No, we're just taking two. Shut up and take my money. Four? I don't know. Popeyes, one time Colonel Sanders ate our new spicy chicken sandwich, then literally died from shame of the food he was selling. Wow, Kefnet now, huh? I do like the grilled flavor and grill marks. That's like certainly a unique thing. Well, now we're going to fall in Shanoobs, that's for sure. Reverse your steak, noobs. What's noob about reverse your steak? That's a pretty new method. That's not bad. Are you one of those fancy dudes as a... What are they called? Sous vide? And reverse here essentially accomplishes the same thing. Love that chicken from my bees. And they're going to attack for... I guess we want Glint Sleeve out. Because even if we Massacre Girl, I want to be able to trigger a one, a two. Shut up and take my money. Popeye's here. You know what? Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. It's because, you know why? It's because they're stuffing their faces with the new Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. God, Popeye's is really getting aggressive in our chat here. Yeah, reverse searing takes a little longer. 200 is pretty low for reverse sear though. Love that chicken from Popeye's. So they have Banalish, Winds, and Spectral. Grill the steak for a bit, then pan sear with some butter, garlic, and rosemary. Yeah, but then you're cooking it two ways, and that seems like a big hassle. Mmm, be fritty. One, two, three, four. I 
Oh man, I don't even want my steak medium. I don't want anywhere close to medium. Don't even come close to me with a medium steak. My name is Michael, and I won't even have it. No, I mean, medium is enjoyable, but it is overcooked in my opinion at that point. Choop, 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 Kill this fat idiot. Bounce the other fat idiot. <sighs> Goodbye. As you go, medium, rare, medium. God, what are we talking about? Popeyes and steaks in the chat now? Wins You're saying you don't like your steak well done with a milk sauce and a side of jelly beans? Wow. That's the only way I cook it, guys. Don't be trying to abuse me. Shut up and take my money. Popeyes, one dollar. Hey, Frank, I can't help but notice you're not enjoying a Popeyes brand spicy chicken sandwich with pickle. Quit wasting your life. Popeyes, if you had a closer location than an hour away, I would definitely enjoy one of your sandwiches, but... You know, my whole family likes steaks well done. It kills me every time. What was the point of eating it then? It doesn't taste any different than any other meat once once it's well done. It's just kind of like a chewy meat. I'd rather just have a chicken. He loves a good chewy chicken meat. I'm going to draw a card. Michael B's chewy chocolate chicken meat. <laughs> With cheddar cheese and chopped... Mmm, medium rare Popeye's chicken. Oh, no. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Let's see where you go. You going back in the deck? Oh, yeah, you are. Well, your, your daddy's taking six here, so. Okay. I think we're just going to work Hype Marauder here, so we got another... Another dude on the board. I actually kind of like my steaks more on the rare side if the sears Shut done really properly. Shut up and take my money. Gross. Oh, that's a good, that was a good draw. Carabas, they cook it, oh, they cook it so good. Olive oils. Popeye quit harassing the nice magic players. <laughs> Her name is just olive oil, not olive oils. Wait, did we? That was game three? I thought that was only game two. Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklaport. Manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. You can uh, use the link and promo code down below for 20% off. Coolstuffinc.com. You can get 5% off promo code frank5. Every Wednesday, I got a new article. Patreon.com slash franklaport. And please, if you guys have not done so, definitely sign up for Raid Shadow Legends. The link is in the chat. It's free. You can just download it, make Shut an account. That's all money. I want you to do. And it helps me out tremendously because there are great incentives for me as a content creator and a sponsored streamer of the game. Uh, if I get a certain number of, of people registering the game. So I would really appreciate it if you guys help me out. It's a great way to not spend any money to support the channel. Takes you probably less than five minutes. Try the game out. Let me know what you guys think. I would love for you to do it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys.